I was uh, looking through the LA Times and I, and I wanted to thank uh, the reporter John Myers for uh, introducing uh, an article today which I found was very fascinating. It was a Democrat seek change, this is the name of it, in California recall elections and it could help embattled state senator. And then the SAC B, Je uh, Jim Miller, wrote another story on the same issue, Democrats push new rule to help them win elections. I, 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 first of all, I'd just like to say that I think that if you're going to make uh, the budget play where you put and slide through policy in a sneaky fashion, uh, I, I think that uh, as senators, we deserve better than that. I think that we are better than that. You know, we had three senators go to jail. And when, when senators believe that their power and their seek, in seeking their own power is more important than the people's power, it leads to corruption. Changing the law to advantage politicians over people is wrong. You know, our recall rules, uh, laws are over 100 years old. And yet, we're trying to sneak something through in the dark of night. It hasn't been heard in any policy committee. And it's going to be retroactive. So it has an impact on one of our colleagues. Look, I, I like our colleague an awful lot. I think he's a great guy. But it's between him and his district. It's not for us to go back and change the rules uh, and game the system. Because I don't know how you describe that other than gaming the system. If you're so busy clutching to the supermajority that you're willing to gain the system, you're really not serving our constituents and all of Californians. So I just wanted to bring attention to it because I was disappointed to read uh, those two stories and to learn that in SB 96 and AB 112, uh, you're passing policy to gain the system to advantage one major party uh, at, the, at the expense of citizens, and I think that's wrong.